In this video, we're going to see how to create this Nike UI design using Figma. So in order to get started, create a new Figma file and let's click on this frame option and select desktop. Once we're done with that, let's change the width to 1920 and height to 1080. So this is our desktop uh, size and let's also rename our uh, land uh, our frame to landing page so once we're done with that let's also add a grid to our design by clicking in the layout grid and once we have that let's go to layout grid settings and change the grid to columns let's keep the count at 12 and add a margin of 100 okay so now let's add our logo so I have this Nike logo uh, file. You can get this from Google. And uh, let's key, uh, change the size to 200. 200 by 200. And let me align this right here. So now let's add a text. I'm going to add the text and let's say, uh, I'm going to create a menu for now and for the first category we have men's category over here and the font that i'm using is called carla it is a default font available in figma and i'll keep the weight to regular and the size at 40 and i'll also keep this at a, a lowercase uh, option now let's duplicate this and move this and I'll rename this to women's category again copy and paste and then we have a kids category again copy and paste and then we have our sale category so there we have our menu let's select all of these options and right click and select this group selection option so that we can manage our menu much better and let me rename this to menu okay so once we have that let's add a icon for this I have a shop icon over here uh, this represents the creating a, an account or adding uh, items to your cart so let me resize this to 150 by 99 and let's add this over here I think here uh, yeah I think this is much better so once we're done with this let's add an image to our design so I have this Nike shoe image I'll add this in and change the size the width to 850 and I'll change the rotation to 15 degrees and I'll align this right here now I'll also add a drop shadow to this image but let me remove this grid for now I'll just hide this grid select my image and add effect you can see we have a drop shadow effect over here and right beside it there is a settings option so let's add the x-axis to 20, y-axis at 10, blur at 100 and there we have it. You can see we have a nice looking drop shadow in the background. Okay so let me bring back the layout grid and now let's add a text over here that says brand new edition. So the font for this is the same and let's keep the weight to extra bold and change the font size to 64. I'll also change this to uppercase as well and align this right here. Here. Okay. So now I'll add a text over here. So I have this text already selected. Uh, you can add in any text that you like. And I'll keep this uh, text again the same font 
but the weight will be at light and the font size would be at 32. Now let's create a button. So for that let's select a rectangle, add a rectangle and I'll change the height to 80 and the width will be at 270. For the color let's go with the black color and I'll also keep the border at 20. So there you have it. Let me move this in the middle of our design uh, text. Okay, so now let's add a text for our button. Say this is the shop and I'll change the color to white and I'll also uh, change the weight to bold and the text size to 40. So this looks better now. And I'll also add in a drop shadow for this button. But first, let, first of all, let me just hide this grid. Select the rectangle. Click on effects. Drop shadow. Once again, uh, now let's go with 5x5. Five five, blur at 50 and spread at 15. Uh, so there you go. We have a nice looking uh, drop shadow in the background. So now let's uh, select both the text and the rectangle and right click and create a group selection and rename this to button so that we can access it much better and there you have it here is our nike ui design created in figma let me know what you think if you like this make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video